Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Cassie, I'm the Evil Secret Ninja, and I talk about books and review books on my channel. And today I am doing my wrap-up for the month of December. And just like every other month last year, I read a lot of books. So there's 30 books on my um, list. However, six of them are those little short stories that are only like 20 pages. So I don't know that I should count that. That's more like it's one book. <laughs> so probably more like 25. And then I guess there's one that we, I don't really know what to do with. <laughs> Alright, so uh, like I said, there's 30 on there. Uh, six of them are just short stories. And then one of them I'm not sure what to do with. But I did look through it. Alright, so of the books that I read, uh, 15 of them were fantasy. Uh, that's probably not a surprise. I probably read more fantasy than I read any other genre. Um, six of them were the short stories. Uh, one of them, I'm, it's just kind of a question mark. Uh, one of them was a horror. Uh, two were manga. One was a cookbook. Three were nonfiction, and one was science fiction. Right, so of, of those, 10 of them were physical books, 8 of them were audiobooks, and 12 of them were ebooks. Of those, so the audience for uh, the books I read, 18 were adult, 8 were young adult, uh, one of them was middle grade, and one of them, I don't know, and then obviously the, the cookbook I didn't put in the age category, so I just kind of say it's for everybody. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and go through the books that I read, and then I'll just kind of give them a rating and I give them a 10 star rating. I'll start with my lowest rated book and then I'll go up to my highest rated book. So my lowest rated book, least favorite book this month was uh, Dragons of Autumn Twilight by Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman. And I'm not really sure why this just didn't connect with me. Like I just, I struggled to get through it because it was just kind of boring and it just reminded me too much of it's a rewriting of Tolkien's tales and stuff like that. And I gave it five and a half out of ten stars. So it wasn't even rated that low. It was just kind of meh. The second book on there, the second lowest rated book, was The Crimson Alliance, which was the second book in the Viridian Gate Online series. And that is by James Hunter. And this is a lit RPG, and I just don't like books where they level up. Uh, my kids are enjoying it, so I'll probably continue the series. And I gave that one five and a half out of ten stars. The next lowest rated book on the that I read in December was Healing the Addicted Brain, the Revolutionary Science Based Alcoholism and Addiction Recovery Program. And this one I just felt like uh, it was pretty redundant. I already knew everything in it and I just didn't learn a whole lot from it. I guess if it might be one that I would refer a client to read if they don't aren't familiar with a lot of the stuff about addiction. I gave it six out of 10 stars and it is written by uh, Harold Urschel. The next one on there is Heck Where the Bad Kids Go and this is the first book in the Nine Circles of Heck series and it is by Del Barry and this was a middle grade uh, and it was just a couple kids die from exploding marshmallows and they are sent to Heck but because it's a kids book they can't swear in it and that was probably the funniest part of them trying not to use swear words or things that they use in place of swear words. But anyway, so they, they go to heck and they find out that maybe one of them's not supposed to be there. But obviously they don't make mistakes. And I gave that one 6 out of 10 stars. The next one was The Descendants of the First, which is the second book in the Return of the Earth Mother series. And that is by Rini K. Ameo. So this is about a set of twins uh, and in the world that they live on uh, twins are killed because the imp there's a prophecy that the twins will kill the emperor it's about a set of twins that is separated at birth so no one knows that they're twins they're them going to fulfill their destiny and i gave that one six out of ten stars so the next one on there was king of battle and blood by scarlet st Clair, and this is the first book in the adrian and isidol series and this is about a princess who is forced to marry a vampire in order to save her kingdom. And the first half of it was just awful. I really struggled to get through it. And the second half was okay. And this was the December Unplugged Book Box book. And I gave this one six and a half stars out of ten. The next one I read was Henriette and Eleanor. And this was a retelling of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde 
uh, but this time it's a female and I guess she works in cosmetics and is doing a lot of research on psychology and finds out that we have two sides to our personality and she decides to kind of split them. And this was written by Libby Spurrier and you know it was fine. It was kind of a different story. I guess it, I just didn't find anything spectacular or amazing about it. And it just, you know, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And I gave that one six and a half out of ten stars. So the next six are the ones that were just little short stories. And these are from the Black Star series. This is a Amazon original short story collection. Uh, there's six in there. There's from six different authors and they're all about various, they're all science fiction and they have a twist on them as in like putting in uh, the perspective of uh, a black person when they are there's often they're still being persecuted and kind of what they're on their journey to live their own lives and be complete people so there's there's six of these on there and i'm not really going to go over the plots or anything of them but i'll just let you know what they are um, and i did find out that a lot of the authors i have some other books by so i'm excited to pick them up so i did obviously didn't like them all equally i guess that had more to do with how they ended but then when they're only 20 pages i don't know what kind of conclusion you expect <laughs> uh, the first one was we travel the space ways by victor lavelle the second one was 2043 a merman i should turn to be and that was by nishi shawl and those two i gave six and a half out of ten stars and then the next one was the the black pages and that was by uh, ninde okafer and i gave that one six and a half out of ten stars the next one was the visit by chamanda nagazi adiji and I gave that one seven out of ten stars. The next one was was These Alien Skies by CTA C T Ruiz. And I gave that one seven out of ten stars. The next one was Clap Black by Nalo Hopkinson. And I gave that one seven out of ten stars. Like I said, they were kind of fun to read. They were just kind of different sci-fi stories from a different perspective. I have to say a lot of them reminded me of um, Octavia Butler's writing. So I did enjoy them. They were fun. Uh, next was Silver Swift by Natalie Lloyd. And this is a story about mermaids. And there is this girl and she's going to visit her grandma. And her grandma is obsessed with mermaids and wants to hear the mermaids sing on winter solstice. So they are traveling this island trying to find the one place in the world where the mermaids gather to sing. And I gave it seven and a half out of ten stars. The next one was the Alcrate November book. And that was Dreams Lie Beneath by Rebecca Roth. This was about uh, a world where there's a curse. And because of the curse, uh, everybody's dreams are nightmares. And on the new moon, the nightmares come to life, attack people. And there's these wizards that are trying to stop that and they fight the dream, the nightmares. So I gave that one seven and a half out of 10 stars. Uh, the next one was Jade Fire Gold by June C.L. Tan. This was the October Alcrate book. And this was about a girl who has magic. And because magic is banned in this world, she is kind of shunned. And the boy who has a big secret and he's supposed to be dead, but he survived. And so they are trying to fulfill their destiny. And I like that one a lot. It was pretty good. It was um, it was a lot of fun, and I gave that one uh, seven and a half out of ten stars. Uh, next was Red Country by Joe Abercrombie, and this is the third standalone in the First Law world. And this was about um, some children who get kidnapped, and there's a re uh, there's kind of a resurfacing of a certain person who was in previous books that I was excited to have him come back. And uh, so they're traveling, there's these children that were kidnapped and they're trying to go rescue them. And I gave that one seven and a half out of ten stars. The next one was The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin. And this is the first book in the Broken World series. And this is about the end of the world and what brought about the end of the world. Kind of people who are trying to survive in this now world that is falling apart. And I gave that one seven and a half out of 10 stars. The next one was Summer Night by Jim Butcher. And this is the fourth book in the Dresden Files. And this one we follow Harry Dresden, who is a wizard who fights all sorts of supernatural things in the city of Chicago. And this one is about Faye. And as they are trying to kind of gain some control in the world uh, and it's got some catastrophic consequences if it's not handled properly. Uh, so I gave that one 8 out of 10 stars. Uh, the next ones were One Punch Man number 16 
and 17 and these are the two mangas i read this month and uh the author uh the authors they just have one is the name but those are just about uh superhero academy and they are going up against the monster academy our hero is saitama who can destroy any monster with one punch uh but there's actually quite a bit that goes on and it follows a lot of other heroes and he just kind of shows up from time to time to get rid of the ones that no one else can get rid of. It's been a fun series to read and I gave both of those 8 out of 10 stars. So the next one is the one I don't know what to do with because it's a book that no one can read in the hundred and some odd years that we that it has been studied. No one has been able to translate what it is and that is the Voynich manuscript and we don't know who wrote it and it's considered the most mysterious book in the world. Uh, but I did look through it. They had a ebook version that you could uh, look through it. It's got some cool pictures and things in it. I don't know. I don't know what it's about. So I don't know how I could put it anywhere <laughs> and say I don't know what it is. I don't know who wrote it. I don't know what the audience is. Uh, but it's just kind of a fun, mysterious thing to look at. And I say I gave it 8 out of 10 stars, but who knows because I don't know what it's about. The next one was The Witchwood Crown by Tad Williams. This is the first book in The Last King of Austinard, and this is the continuation of the Memory Sour and Thorn world. Some of the uh, characters we love, like Seelman and Miramel, and their, ch their children and grandchildren, and the children and grandchildren of the people who were in the first trilogy, turned into four books, which I believe this one is also looking like that, that it's a trilogy that will turn into four books. I guess the only thing I don't like about it is it's, his books are getting repetitive, as in they're just the same story told over and over again. But I guess it's not, if you're copying yourself, it's not really a big deal. But that would be the only thing that I, not even really negative, it's just one of those things. And I gave that one eight and a half out of ten stars. Next is Skyward by Brandon Sanderson, and this is the first book in the Skyward series, and this is a young adult science fiction who got, follow a girl, Spencer, who is, whose father was dis considered a coward and he was killed because of it and she is trying to uh, not only clear his name but make a name for herself as a pilot which apparently because of her father she will never be able to be a pilot so that one was great I gave it eight and a half out of ten stars. The next one was a cookbook and this is just like my favorite probably one of my favorite um, cookbook authors uh, this is the pioneer woman super easy and this is by Reed Drummond, and anytime I get one of her books, I always have to look through it, find something, and make something out of it, and this was no exception. So this is probably one of my favorite cookbook authors. And she has like little stories about her life and everything, and so you kind of get to watch like, her family and everything grow up throughout her books. And I gave it 9 out of 10 stars. The next one was The Rage of Dragons by Evan Winters, and this is the first book in the Burning series. And uh, this is just a regular soldier guy, and he is out for uh, something happens to him and he is out for revenge because of it and it is his journey kind of into madness as his desire for revenge kind of drives him insane and this things that he goes to to get achieve his goals is very intense uh, so i gave that one nine out of ten stars next one was the rose and the thorn by michael j sullivan this is the second book in the Rayaria Chronicles. And this one we follow Royce and Hadrian as they are uh, doing their little escapades. And this is the Rayaria Chronicles or like the story of how they met and how they became who they were. There's like some real great camaraderie between the two of them. And you can see that they are, guess they are like destined to work together for whatever reason. And I gave that one nine out of 10 stars. Uh, the next one was The Heresy Within by Rob J. Hayes, and this is the first book in the Ties That Bind series, and this is about, uh, it follows a group of people and they're trying to hunt down a witch, and it's how they kind of came together to go on this journey, and that one was pretty cool and I gave it nine and a half stars out of ten stars. And then the next one was Drackel by Darcy Stoker. And this is the first book, I believe there's a series in the Dracul series, and this is the prequel to Dracula. And this follows uh, Bram Stoker and his family and friends as they're trying to find solve a mystery to his past and obviously it involves vampires. And I gave that one 10 out of 10 stars. The last book that I read this month and my favorite book was The Mad Ship by Robin Hobb. 
This is the second book in the Life Ship Traders. And this is, we follow a family who is, has a life ship, which is a ship that three generations have died on the ship. And now it has come to life. And in this one, we get to learn a lot about the sea serpents and the dragons and what they are and what the witchwood is and where it comes from. Though it was actually quite intriguing. Some pretty intense things happened. Uh, but that was my favorite book this month and I gave it 10 out of 10 stars. So those are all the books that I read in the month of December. I had a really good reading month. I think that most of the books that I read turned out pretty good. Uh, so thank you guys all for watching um, and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye!